Hello, welcome to the Apex Networks training for the RMS system. This is part of our online training program developed by Apex Networks to assist you in getting the very most from your software. This short video will cover the web portal. We recommend you play this video on a separate device from that you are setting your system up on. This will allow you to pause, rewind and keep pace of your progress without having to switch screens. Web Portal is a hugely useful function that is an integral function of your full RMS system and there is no additional cost for using it. Web Portal allows your customers who don't use the ANS network to send you work directly onto your RMS system. Depending on the permission level that you grant for each of your sales accounts, your customer can see the progress of each of their own jobs in real time, along with several other functions. Please note that they cannot see any of your other work, only jobs associated with their individual sales account. Your customers will access their log into RMS Web Portal via a web browser on their PC or laptop. The RMS Web Portal can even display your own company logo on if you wish. To set this function up for one of your customers, go to the menu at the top left of your screen and then to Settings. Here you will see a button marked Web Portal Users. Click here to open and click on the New User button at the bottom. This will give you a new customer template to enter. On the first tab, User Details, you will see Login. This is the login for this customer. They can only have one login for each sales account, so ideally this needs to be the primary user. Next, you will need to enter a password for them to verify their access and repeat this to confirm. Next is a tick box marked Change on Next Login. If this is ticked, the user will be required to set their own password on their first login. Next is the name, contact phone number and email, along with a status dropdown which allows you to delete and deactivate a web portal user. At the bottom right corner of this tab are two buttons. The first will send the customer a link to log onto the web portal. It will send this link to the email address that you have applied to this account. The second button is to save your entry. The next tab is marked Recovery Parameters, and there are four sections here. The tick boxes and options are self-explanatory and will give your customer access and updates. On from this is the Recovery Sales Accounts. This is where you will give your customers access to the sales account or accounts that you want them to have access to. Only the jobs that are being done under these sales accounts will be visible to your web portal user. Once again, they will not be able to see any of your other jobs. The next tab is Audit, and this will show the history of this web portal user setup from its creation along with any changes that have been made to it. There is a Login tab after this which will show the time and date of any logins by this user along with the IP address that they logged in on. When you have completed setting up for your new portal user, click on the Link button at the bottom left of each of your web portal user accounts, Send Web Portal Link. This will send your customer a link to log on to their web portal. Once the customer has their link, they can open their web browser, log in with their username and password. They will be invited to change their password if this option was selected when you created their user profile. Apex recommends using Chrome for optimum performance when using any of our products in a web browser. Once the portal has opened, the customer will see their job screen. Along the orange bar at the top, there is provision to set your company logo here. We will cover this later. Then there is an envelope icon. This function will allow your customers to send you messages that can be either job related or general. The book recovery job button will open a new job template and the my bookings button will refresh the screen as well as returning the user to the main job screen. Statistics is the next button and will let your customers see how many jobs they have sent, if any have been refused, how many have met their ETA and how many were either early or late. There is also a button to generate a report into fault codes to give indications of more common issues. My Details will give the customer the facility to update their details with you and also change their password if they need to at any point. Logout allows the user to log out of the system. Closing the web browser will not always log them out. To book a new job, your customer clicks on the Book New Job, which will open a job template. This is set out in five sections, the first of which is Job Details. The first field is Job Date, and this allows your customer to choose from Immediate, for a job that they want to be done as soon as possible, and the other option is Set Date and Time, for jobs that they want to pre-book. Next is Account, and they will only have access to the accounts that you have given them permission for in their user setup. After this is Company, and will only be used if you have more than one company within your Apex RMS system. The same applies to Site, and refers to your recovery sites or depots. An order number is required here too, just as on your main RMS system, and auth or authorization code can be added for any specialist equipment required. 
There is also a field to add the person who is actually booking the job. This is particularly useful as each of your customers will only have one login, so it is useful that whoever booked the job can add their name along with any booking number. The next section is recovery information, and there are fields here for the symptom or what is wrong with the vehicle, the service required, recovery, roadside assistance, etc., the location of the casualty vehicle, and the destination that it needs to go to if the job is a recovery job. Finally, an odometer reading if they have one already. This can be compared to the actual odometer reading on collection. Owner details is the next section and you can add the owner or driver details along with the company name if it is a company vehicle, along with their address, postcode and contact phone numbers. Vehicle details are in the bottom left section and begin with class. This is car, motorcycle, etc. much the same as the main recovery screen and as such these are defined by the rate card for this account. You will need your customer to fill in as much detail as possible here, including registration number or fleet number, make, model, colour, fuel type and transmission. Next is weight and this is particularly useful when attending vans or commercial vehicles and will always relate to their gross vehicle weight. Passengers has two fields to fill in, adults and children. Children should only apply when the child needs their own seat, full five-point harness seat, booster seat or baby bucket. If they are big enough to have a normal seat belt, they should be classed as an adult for recovery purposes. Last, a tick box if the casualty vehicle has a trailer. The last section is for notes and these will be sent across with the job. When the save button is clicked, the job will be sent to the RMS system and appears much the same as an ANS job but marked as a web booking. Once the job has been sent, it will appear in the job list and follow the updates in real time, applying the same colours as the job progresses as your main system.